Hi, I'm Saiwai and I'm a Making It Australia. And today I'm gonna to be making my Couch Buddies project. It's a really fun intermediate project and it's a good one to familiarize yourself with your sewing machine. So if kids wanna make this, just make sure you have an adult with you to help you with things like cutting and with pins and just to supervise you. First of all, what you're gonna to have to do is print out all your patterns on a three size paper and for the main part of it, you'll actually have to enlarge that again by 200%. It's all explained on um, instruction sheets. So to make it easy for yourself, if there's something that's marked a pair, you can just fold the fabric over and cut both of them at once. And for the edges of everything, I'm using pinking shears so that you get a cute little um, zigzag finish on the end. And just follow along on the outside of your pattern piece. And in this case, your pins are your friends. Use them to do the work and hold things in place for you. So the next step is creating the face. So with these pattern pieces, the way I've designed them is everything's sort of laid out for you. So you can use that as your guide when you're um, putting things together. So there's cheeks, which are marked on here. So what you can do is you can just pull your pins out and keep your pattern pieces as a reference and just lay everything out so you know where everything goes. If you put things in slightly different spots, that's okay. Um, this is really just a guide, you can make this your own. And what I like to do is just pop a couple of pins in there um, before I start sewing. That's your first step on there. And then what I'll do as well is just pin my nose into place as well for my koala. And I've got stitch lines on here to follow as well, but I'll take you through how to do that on the sewing machine in a second. Really good practice is to make sure that you've just got a piece of scrap fabric um, before you start, just so you can test your machine and make sure that it's running properly, that your bobbins are in, that it's safe to use. That's just a large zigzag that's on the machine and we're just gonna use that to stitch down the cheeks to hold that in place. And we're just gonna sew down that first stitch to hold the cheeks in place. So when you start sewing, you just need to do a little back tack, which just holds the threads in place. And then we start going. You just pull the pins out as you need and um, try not to sew over your pins because that's how you break needles. That zigzag is now holding the cheek in place on there. So this koala is gonna have nice rosy pink cheeks. With the needle, and we're done on that one. And then again with the clippers, just clip and clean that up. And then for my second pass, what I'm gonna do is just change the setting on this so that the zigzag is tighter. Ah, that's what I want. All right. So what I want it to look like is this. It's gonna have a nice tight stitch on it and I'll run that around twice. So again, back tack and just work around. This will be a little bit slower because your stitches are much, much tighter and all you need to do is work around. So you can see the difference between the two stitches and that gives you a nice finish. So after you finish that, you've got a pair of nice pink rosy cheeks. So we're gonna pop that aside and we're gonna work on the other facial features. So we're gonna work on the nose next. So what you're gonna do on this is with these water erasable pens or with Taylor's chalk, you're going to um, just mark on there roughly where you want the curve of the nose. We're going to do a quick um, zigzag stitch around the edge to hold the nose down first and then we're going to go and stitch those other little details in. If we're clever, what we can do is just slowly follow our marks on here and we're just going to stitch in and make that little nostril. And then what we're gonna do is draw a little smile on there. Again, it's a water erasable pen. So all you need to do is, um, we're gonna do a slightly wonky smile on the koala cause I like a little wonky smile. Same technique. Um, just gonna look at that. And I've set this a little bit wide. So what I'll do is I'll just do a quick pass to do the smile initially. And we just, pass over again on what we've stitched before and we just make the little koala smile. 
So for this step, I just lay the muzzle of the koala down and I'll just pop a couple of pins in to hold that in place so I can stitch that in after. When you pop pearl headed pins in or just pins in in general, it's good to just point them all in the same direction. So when you're sewing, so I'll be sewing in that direction after, um, it's just easier to pull the pins out. It just makes your sewing faster and it doesn't get caught on things as well. So we've got a little face. We're gonna have a little face on this um, koala. So it's gonna have some smiley little eyes. So um, for this, I'm just gonna do little crescent eyes. So again, the water erasable pens. So off we go. We back tack when we start and we back tack to finish as well. So um, we'll probably just do two passes with the same stitch on this one. Um, we didn't have to do that zigzag stitch initially because there's nothing to hold down. And then just run that stitch over that mark that we've made and just follow that as best we can with the machine. So we're going to change thread again. So we just have to change thread this last time. So I'm going to use grey and use the edge of that as a sewing guide. So you just need to follow that shape. If you leave a small opening on this, you can just add a tiny bit of stuffing on it, grab a little bit of polyfill, and it's just gonna add just a little bit of subtle puffiness to um, the muzzle. And then you're just gonna sew over the edge of those. So what we're gonna do is just do a straight stitch on this one and we're just gonna do, um, everything's allowed with a centimetre seam allowance on the other pieces. So just follow the shape of the ear. And this is something that I like to do when I'm sewing projects is I just keep moving on the, the piece that I'm sewing. So, and we're just following that around the edge with that centimetre seam allowance. And we're just taking pins out as we go. These are my paws, four in total, and I just like to lift my foot, move it across, and back tack on there, and just follow the line again. And you'll notice that all the pieces are sort of joined at the moment, but once I finish sewing, I'm just gonna clip them, and then that just makes it, I just find it's a faster way of sewing for me. And they're ready to go. And then what I like to do with these is I like to stuff them with a little bit of that polyfill again, but just do them lightly. You don't need much. Um, really, it's just, it's a tiny bit in each one. So what we've got here is a little pocket that goes on the front of your koala. And all you need to do on this one is, there's a couple of marks here. So what we're gonna do, just fold that over and that'll be the channel for like a tiny bit of elastic that goes through. Back tat and just use um, that as a guide to sew your straight line and you'll get a nice, you'll get a nice finish. I like to use these, um, so I've got two different lengths here. They're um, loop turners or roller pullers and they've got a handy little hook. Um, they kind of look like a latch hook at the end. What I do is I just feed it down the end here and I get, use the hook and I catch it on the elastic over just so it doesn't come out and you pull it through. And I'm just going to stitch that in place to hold that. So all you need to do is just um, a really short, quick stitch. So it's gonna be um, stitch down, back tack, and that's just it to hold that, lift that up and do the same step on the other side at a midway point, so just make sure it's even. And again, and then what you're gonna do is just do a little stitch and just do a back tap and that'll just hold that elastic in place. So there's a lot of little steps at first, but then the whole project is gonna to come together quite quickly. So that's the back of your koala and that's the front of your koala and you're going to lay that out and all your edges should match if you've cut everything very carefully. So we're just going to use a pin and we're just going to hold that elastic in place. Use as many pins as you need. You'll notice there's like a little bit of a pull in it. That's fine. That's from the elastic. Um, it's not going to affect your sewing at all. So they're those ones and then I'll usually just pop a couple of extra pins in place now in the middle. 
So with this step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the feet between the front and the back layer, not between the pockets. We're just gonna pop that in here and you're gonna allow us at least a centimetre seam allowance on here. I'm just gonna use the pins to hold those pieces in place. And I'm gonna pin outwards as well. And you'll probably need just an extra pin here. And we're gonna repeat that for the koala's little paws. So essentially what you're doing is you're using the front and the back to sandwich the paws. There's a note on the pattern piece that says opening for stuffing, so you keep that open. So we're gonna start sewing from that edge and move the whole way around. And then we're gonna stuff, stuff the piece that way. So we, we just have one opening. So make sure you don't sew that shut. With things that are symmetrical like this, or you can make them symmetrical or not symmetrical, I just like to check where they are and see if I'm happy with the placement. And I think to me that looks pretty good. So what I'll do is pop a couple of extra pins in. And again, same thing, back tack to start and then just sew around the edge, uh, removing pins as you go. And then just make sure when you're sewing this that you're also catching the paw. And then when you get to the corner, this is a good trick that I've learned, is you, when you get to the corner, make sure your needle is down. Then lift your foot, pivot, push it back down. And then what you do is you get a nice clean corner on here. And we're gonna be ready to stuff this koala so that he'll be your little couch buddy. So like I said, comes together really quickly. So I'm just gonna get some polyfill and we're gonna stuff this guy. Just be careful here that you stuff the right area. So you don't wanna stuff that first, that first pocket, cause that's actually your pocket. You wanna stuff the actual bodies. So that's with the front and the back. So there's just a little gap here. So, and just make sure you sort of get into the corners and that you make the shape quite even as well. And the good thing about this stuff is you can just sort of pull it apart a little and um, stuff it in. So we have a nicely stuffed koala. So that, that's looking pretty good to me. So you can see that's the opening there. So we just wanna make sure that's nice and even. So again, just pop a couple of pins in and we're just going to seal them up. Now for the finishing touches for your couch buddy. So you can have it like this and that's fine, but the way I designed it was so that it would have little Velcro tabs on there so that its little feet and hands would hold down and then its head can tuck into its body and it will basically be like a little cushion hiding. Now you can use buttons or clips or whatever, but I'm just doing this one quickly and this is a, this is a really quick way of doing them. And these are actually designed for fabric. Just use a little bit of pressure. But again, if you want to use snap buttons or if you want to do sew-ins, you can do that. That's his little paws in place. And then all you need to do is just fold that gently and tuck the koala's face in. And that's your little couch buddy cushion. And then when you're ready to watch telly, you can pull your little friend out and have them sitting there. That's it from me guys. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. You can grab everything you need to make these guys from your local Spotlight store. Anyway, happy making and can't wait to see what you guys come up with. <laughs>